Hey everybody, it's Brian. Just wanted to record a quick recap. Today is Tuesday, December 10th, and I'm just recording a quick recap after Forex Live. Uh, we put on some trades for the Euro USD, the Pound USD, and the US Yen. Um, had a couple trades trigger in, and uh, we're going to talk about those now. So for the Euro USD, um, we had uh, two trades that we parked in class. We had a uh, buy order down here at uh, 37.50. 253 area and uh, then we also had a sell order that we entered here at the top at 3728 now neither of those kicked in so we've canceled those out uh, we entered a seller here at or a sell a buy order here at 3753 3752 and a half area um, because we were what we were looking at at the time was um, this setting up as a nice level of uh, support for us. We had moved beyond this. We were looking for it to pull back and give us an entry. Um, never got back down there. Uh, we looked at 38.27 because this was our, our top of our range. When we look at the average daily range for this currency pair, if we were able to stretch it out and move that high, that would have been the end of the uh, end of the range. Now, does it mean it can't move beyond that? Well, no, of course not. It could always move beyond that. But this is giving us um, a higher probability of getting in for what might be uh, typically seen as a counter trend trade. Um, either, but but unfortunately, neither of those um, triggered, so we've canceled those and taken them off the table. Uh, on the pound USD, we actually had uh, two orders on here as well. Um, unfortunately, our buy order was triggered, so we were we were trading here. We were looking to buy it when it came back to this level and uh, and, and get some pips. Unfortunately, it did come back. It hit this level and uh, bounced up. It didn't quite get to our take profit. We were looking to take profit up here at 64.52. It didn't quite get there and uh, came back and then reversed against us and uh, took us out for a, uh, a small loss here of 13 pips. Now this is 13 pips though times three because we count everything in lots of three. So let's let's keep that in mind. That would be 13 times three. Um, our sell order never triggered. We were looking to sell it. If it did push to, to 6,500, uh, looking for reversal there for two reasons. One, 6,500, big whole number, psychological level is good for us. And number two, um, that would have been the end of our, our range of what our average daily range typically is. So if it did push that high, we had two things working for us to look for a potential reversal there. Unfortunately, the market just stayed kind of dead. We we had a total range of about 47 pips for the entire day. And actually for the U.S. session, it's even been tighter on this one. For the U.S. session, we've been in a range of uh, 30 pips, 29.8 pips. So not much to write home about there on the pound USD. Uh, lastly, we have the U.S. Yen, and we were able to pick up some pips here. Um, on the U.S. Yen, we uh, we had a sell order in um, here at 102.89, and uh, you know price had was trading here. We parked our order. Um, it did come back up to us. Actually, almost got our buy in as well. It didn't quite get there. What we were doing is we parked a, a buy down here and a sell up here. Uh, we parked a buy here at 102.60. Um, just saying that, you know, if, if we were able to get to that level, it was a support resistance level from Forex Joe's report and looking top to bottom that that would have been about the average range for this currency pair and looking for reversal uh, came near it, didn't get there. So didn't get us in, but it did come back up to the area that we sold from and uh, got some uh, got some pips for us. So we were able to pick up some pips. We did. Uh, so we had our sell order on here at 102.89. Uh, price pushed down. We took take profit one at six pips. Take profit two at 12 pips. And now we've currently got our third lot open. If it continues to push down, uh, we'll trail it. If um, if not, it might come back and take us out for plus one. So we did pick up some pips there on the um, on the the US yen. So that is it. That's what we've got for the day. And um, we'll, we'll be back next time. I think Thursday morning's our next class. So we will see you then. Have a great one.